today I'll be showing how to overclock a GPU in Linux and set a custom fan curve using an application called Lact, which supports both AMD and Nvidia, and even has some limited support for Intel as well. Now this is a follow-up to a previous video where I showed two other GPU overclocking utilities, Core Control for AMD and Green with NV for Nvidia. However, it looks like Green with Envy will no longer be supported. The creator of the project said he's looking for new maintainers and he'll no longer be able to support the project, with the last update being around 9 months ago. So in other words, it looks like the project might be dead. Which is why I now recommend using Lact instead. And as far as AMD GPUs go, Core Control is still an excellent option and provides the same functionality as Lact. So if you're already using core control, then there's no need to switch. It really comes down to personal preference. So now let's jump straight into it and go to Lack's GitHub page, which contains the instructions on how to install it along with some other useful information. So the first thing we'll see are a few screenshots showing some of the program's features, including GPU info, overclocking, fan control, and more. You can see here Lact also supports Wayland, which is good news for Nvidia users since Green with Envy did not support Wayland. Next we'll see the installation instructions, but let's come back to this in a minute and first go down to the hardware support section. Now as you can see, all AMD GPUs starting with the RX 400 series are supported. In fact, the new RX 9000 series that was just released the other week is already supported as well, if your system has the latest kernel installed. Now as far as Nvidia GPUs go, anything from the Maxwell generation or newer should work. I should also point out that Nvidia support is relatively new, so you'll want to make sure you're using the latest Nvidia drivers to have access to all the features. And finally, Intel GPUs are supported but their functionality is pretty limited, so hopefully future updates continue to improve this. Now let's go back to the installation instructions. I'll be installing Lact on a system with an RTX 3060 and I'll first be installing it on Endeavor OS, which is based on Arch. And then afterwards, I'll install it on an Ubuntu-based distro as well. Of course, other distros are supported, as you can see here, but I won't be doing demos for these. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is make sure you have the NVIDIA proprietary drivers installed, in addition to CUDA. Unfortunately, it seems like the open source drivers aren't supported at the moment, so hopefully that changes in future versions. If you don't have the drivers or CUDA installed, then installing them is easy. I showed how to install these in my written guide that explains how to run AI models such as Stable Diffusion and YOLO Object Detection. On Arch-based distros, all you need to do is install the NVIDIA package and the CUDA package. And for Ubuntu distros, all you need to do is enter these commands to install the NVIDIA driver and then this command to install CUDA. After verifying those are installed, now we can install the software. For Arch distros, all you need to do is install the LAC package. But if you want the absolute latest version of LAC, then you'll need to install the LAC-git package instead. However, your system will need to compile the program which can take a while depending on how fast your CPU is. And every time LAC gets an update, you'll need to recompile it again. So it's up to you which version you want. The non-git version isn't that much behind the git version and is updated pretty frequently, so for time's sake I suggest the non-git version for most users. Next, the only other thing you need to do is copy and paste this command here, which enables the service for lact. Now we're ready to run it, so I'll search for lact in my start menu and run it. Now the first screen here shows details and specifications for your particular GPU and driver. There's not much to do here so let's go over to the OC tab. Here's where we can view and modify settings related to the power and clock speeds. You can also get a graphical view of a few different things by clicking show historical charts. But now let's start by increasing the power usage limit. 
simply increase or decrease the slider to your desired limit. So I'll go ahead and increase it to its maximum value and then hit apply. Next, there's an option for power states, and if you click here, it'll expand to show the various options. However, I'm not able to modify these and there doesn't appear to be an option to change the performance level to manual. From what I can tell, this only works on AMD GPUs at the moment. But personally, this isn't really a big deal for me since I likely wouldn't modify these anyway. But fortunately, I am able to set an offset on the core and VRAM, which can be done right here. So I'll go ahead and give the core a small boost and leave the VRAM alone for right now. And then hit apply to make the changes. Additionally, you can also set a custom offset for individual P states by clicking here. For example, I could remove the positive offset for all the P states except for the highest one, which is the one that's used when the GPU is running a demanding game. I might play around with these later, but for now I'll leave them alone. Now unfortunately, it doesn't seem like voltage changes are possible on NVIDIA at the moment. My understanding was that NVIDIA hasn't provided the ability to directly modify voltages in its driver yet, so hopefully they provide that at some point in the future. I believe these are AMD only features at the moment but I'm not 100% sure why some of the features aren't available here. So if someone has more info on this, then feel free to leave a comment and let us all know. Now another nice feature is the ability to assign different OC settings for multiple GPUs. I'm actually running two 3060s in this system right now. As you can see when I click the tab up here, this is where you can select the GPU you want to modify and also gives the ability to create multiple profiles. So you can create different profiles for different workloads or games and easily switch between these different profiles. But now let's head over to the thermals tab where you can set a custom fan curve. By default, the automatic profile will be selected. You can change it by selecting curve. Then you'll be given sliders to set your manual curve. You can also add additional sliders by clicking the plus symbol or remove sliders by pressing the X. The spin down delay and speed change threshold can also be adjusted which will modify how quickly the fans react to changes in temperature. Additionally, there's also a static setting which allows you to set a continuous static fan speed. And lastly, we have the software tab, which simply tells you which version of Lacta you're running and your system's current kernel version. And also, there's one last menu up in the top right corner. The historical charts can also be viewed from here, in addition to generating a debug snapshot, getting a dump of your vBIOS, disabling overclock support, and resetting all configuration. So now let's move on to installing Lact on a new Ubuntu system now. The specific distro I'm using is Kubuntu 2404. Also, like I mentioned earlier, make sure you have the NVIDIA drivers installed in addition to CUDA as well. Now for Debian and Ubuntu distros, it says to download the deb file from the releases page. So let's go there and scroll down to the latest release. The latest version at the time of making this video is version 0.7.2, which is actually a newer version than the one I installed on Arch, which was 0.7.1. But anyway, let's now download the appropriate file. Since I'm running 2404, I'll go ahead and download that version. Once it's done, go to the directory where the file was downloaded and double click it. Now click install package and enter your password. When it's done, click close and then go back to the instructions. The last thing you'll need to do is copy and paste this line into the terminal. Now we can run the program. For the most part, everything is exactly the same as before except for the clock speed section. One of the new features in 0.7.2 is the ability to set lock clocks. This allows you to set a maximum and a minimum clock speed as opposed to setting an offset like before. This can be done both for the clock and the VRAM. Now something that appears to be missing in this version is the ability to modify individual P states. 
but I actually think this is because Ubuntu has an older version of the NVIDIA driver. As you can see, I'm currently running driver version 550, while the Arch system had driver version 570 installed. So in other words, the features that are available not only depend on the version of Lact you have, but the driver version also plays a role in this. But other than that, all the other options and settings are the same as they were on the Arch system. So that covers everything you need to know about Lact on an NVIDIA GPU. Unfortunately, I don't have an AMD GPU at the moment, which is why I won't be showing that today. But the installation process is basically the same. The only difference is you'll need to do these additional steps listed here. These are the same steps required to get core control working, which I showed in my previous video. So if you're an AMD owner, I suggest watching that video as well. Both applications are great options, and it really comes down to personal preference. But anyway, that's all I've got for today. If you found this video to be helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel for more Linux content. My channel also teaches computer and electrical engineering, along with some fun robotics projects and DIY guitar gear as well. So if you're interested in learning this stuff, then you should definitely check out my other videos. As always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.